How could your husband have made a fake passport without your knowledge? I told you I've never seen it before. And then there's the money. 56,000 euros is a lot of money to hide. You claim you didn't know about it. My client has already told you that she knew nothing about that money. Just check the back of her fingerprints, because you won't find any, and the passport. Pat must have been deluded if he'd think I'd go anywhere with him after I found out what he'd done. I hated him. Hated him enough to want to kill him? No. It's interesting you talk about him in the past tense, because Mr Phelan's body hasn't yet been found. Come on, he's presumed dead. Tell me again. <sighs> What happened upon that sea wall? He lunged at me and moved and he fell over the edge. Fell? Yes. I'm struggling to make sense of your version of events, I We are getting nowhere here. I'm simply trying to ascertain that things happened as your client explains, or if, in fact, she knew everything about Mr. Phelan. And when she knew we were on our way to save her own skin, she pushed him. You have got absolutely no evidence to back up what you're suggesting. And my client is the victim in all this. There's nothing she could have done to change what happened to Mr. Phelan last night. Sure, really deserve.